What secret tourist gem can you find in ancient Mesokori? Follow us off the beaten track and discover why this small city is a must-see. In the Middle Ages, this town was founded in a mountainous area 150 meters above sea level to protect the residents against pirate raids. In the small traditional center of Mesokori, which can only be reached on foot, you will find perhaps the most important church on the island of Karpathos in addition to two smaller churches, Agios Nikolaos and Stavros. After a short search through narrow alleys, you will find the beautiful Ponaia Vrasiani church, right next to a monastery garden. The well-maintained and painted walls and paths already reveal that in this small village of 250 inhabitants, the church still has a very active community. To understand why, we must descend to the foundations on which the first version of the Byzantine church was built around the year 1553. As you can see, the church is built on top of a three-headed fountain that brings together the water from the mountains above and is also the only source of drinking water in the village. Legend has it that any single woman who drinks the water will soon find the love of her life. But that is not the only reason why this church attracts many pilgrims. Every year around September 8th, many residents of Karpathos and even the nearby island of Kossos flock to this church to celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. The stone plateaus next to the path to the fountain are intended for these holidays and are full of local delicacies on those days. During the festivities, the square and the banquet hall are packed with hundreds of revelers, are probably the most beautiful panegyri in this region. It is probably also because of this popular festival that the original church from 1553 turned out to be too small and expanded in 1791. The Greek Orthodox Church took its current form after restorations in 1935. In the nearby cafe, you can get the key to the church, which is normally closed for tourists. Now that we know more about the background, it is time to admire the beautiful interior of the church. Let's go inside. When we enter, it is immediately noticeable how well maintained the Byzantine style painting on the walls has been. The rich decoration of the church starts right at the entrance with an icon of the Virgin Mary, who in this image hears from the angel Gabriel that she is bearing a child we all know now. On your left you will find a solid wooden carved candlestick table in Orthodox Greek style on which you can light a candle. As you can see from the chairs that are ready for a next visit, the church is still very actively used. Let's walk forward, where we see a beautiful marble iconostasis. An iconostasis can be found in many Eastern Christian churches and is a wall decorated with religious images that separates the public part, the nave, from the sanctuary of the church. In addition to the wooden cathedra, where the priest sits during the service, we have a beautiful view of the ceiling with Christ's Pantocrator in the center. Jesus Christ's Pantocrator is a specific depiction of Christ in the Orthodox Church, meaning Jesus the Almighty. It is derived from the Greek pantos meaning everything and kratos meaning mighty. Christ's Pantocrator is one of the first images from the Orthodox Christian Church and you see Christ holding the New Testament while making a blessing gesture with his right hand. We hope you enjoyed probably the most beautiful church on the island and surrounding areas. You can stay a while and enjoy the serene peace. But we 
are off for our next destination. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.